What's up over 40 skaters? I found out a great way to improve my manual skills and if I could start skateboarding again, I've been uh, skating uh, for almost two years now. So if I could start again, I would start uh, with uh, practicing manuals stationary because I found out this, that uh, this works uh, very good for me uh, for my rolling manuals. Um, by the way, manuals were my uh, first uh, tricks that I started to practice and um, I couldn't manual uh, very long and uh, it is like the third or fourth board that uh, I make these razor, ta uh, razor tails on and uh, there are some chips here and there um, because scrape the nose and the tail um, and then fall forward or backward um, while practicing rolling manuals and uh, I think it is uh, um, uh, good for your health so not to fall that much and uh, also good for your budget you know not to um, uh, destroy so many skateboards while um, practicing manuals. To practice manual stationary in your room, for example, uh, as I'm doing now because um, the weather is not very skatable, I decided to stay at home and sweat and uh, skate or, or balance in a, in a better environment. And I also found out today a great way to, to start practicing, you know, the one foot manual and the nose manual as well or maybe hang tans um, and, and all that. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm very excited about this new project because um, I'm, I'm planning to, to practice nose manuals on, with one foot and manuals with one foot, but uh, it is very hard while, while rolling. And uh, as I'm improving in my, my regular manuals, I decided to take on this new trick and uh, the first time I really tried it uh, was in my room here. So I'm gonna show you how, how I um, balance practice with my skateboard. I also practice switch nose and tail manuals. So this is the nose of the board and this is the tail of the board. And uh, I decided to practice nose manual with the tail forward, both in my goofy stance and in switch as well. Um, and also uh, practice, I also practice tail manuals with the with the nose under my, my back foot and uh, I find it uh, find this uh, board position uh, better for me than than the regular position and uh, it is very exciting I'm going to show you you don't have to worry about um, having the nose or tail forward you can manual um, every part of the board basically so uh, you don't have to you know um, shove the board or, or do whatever you know to to get it in the right position because uh, all positions will, uh, will be the right position for you Now I am going to show you how I started practicing one foot nose and tail manuals. Um, I'm going to be grabbing that uh, wardrobe there and uh, um, if you do something like this, make sure you know to cover the, the edge with your hand, you know, uh, in case you, you would headbutt um, the, the wardrobe, um, you, won't, you won't be hitting your head in the, in the sharp um, edge of it. So, um, I'm gonna sh uh, gonna be showing you that uh, I will uh, you know grab the wardrobe and uh, until I get into a comfortable um, position, I will try to hold this uh, one foot manual and nose manual uh, for one one or two seconds. And I'm very happy because I actually could manage to hold it like for one second. That and it is a great uh, feeling for feeling of success for me. So um, I think it's a great way you know to practice. Um, uh, this trick before uh, getting into the roll, rolling version. This is how I practice and um, I suggest you know to grab something and uh, make sure you don't headbutt anything. And um, the reason why I put my hand down is to show you that, okay, that, that was that one second where I could hold um, the manual, but uh, I, I always keep my hand, you know, like this. So if I if I decide you know to to let go, I only do it like this because it's very close and I don't want to um, damage my my nice forehead. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I think um, practicing stationary manuals will save you a lot of skateboards and money and and injuries as well. And um, 
use a carpet uh, if you're brand new or, or, or if you're on, on an improved level you can also use a carpet for this but I decided you know to to um, do it on this this surface um, I got the idea of uh, practicing uh, stationary manuals or how to get better at uh, manuals uh, in a Facebook group and uh, I put up a question you know um, do you have any methods for for um, getting better at manuals and and uh, dozens of uh, very helpful answers came and one guy suggested me to to practice in my room stationary because it worked for him uh, in in bad weather and maybe after an injury he could also he could only um, practice this type of trick and uh, it's his experience that it worked very good for him and now I can also say that uh, when, I'm, when I'm doing rolling manuals I can feel the difference for like after a week after the stationary practice I was a lot better and, and keep improving as well. Okay so thank you for watching and uh, keep on skating at home in your room. Peace. Goodbye.